Have you been told you've got post-nasal drip, but sprays, rinses and antibiotics haven't stopped the throat clearing, cough and tight throat? What if the real problem isn't mucus at all? It's your vocal cords, reflex closing to protect you. It's called vocal cord dysfunction or inducible laryngeal obstruction. I'm Duncan, a GP in the UK with a passion for holistic health. In a few minutes, you'll learn one, how post-nasal drip irritates the larynx and primes this reflex. Two, what vocal cord dysfunction actually feels like. And three, speech and language therapy techniques that can calm it. Here's a simplified way to understand it. Irritants such as mucus from rhinitis or sinusitis, acid reflux, cold air, pollution or strong smells can inflame your larynx, aka your voice box. Your larynx is the gatekeeper of your airways. If it senses risk, it can reflex close to stop anything getting into your lungs. Imagine inhaling an object up your nose that managed to get past your sneeze reflex. Sensors in your nose detect the object, trigger the reflex and snap your vocal cords shut to stop the object getting into your lungs. In some people, this reflex gets oversensitive and fires too easily, particularly in people with chronic sinus problems, reflux, asthma, allergies, ADHD, or if you're under stress, not necessarily all at the same time. Constant throat clearing and coughing then injures the delicate skin in your airways, which makes the nerves even jumpier. This becomes a vicious circle. So treating the mucus of post-nasal drip alone often fails, as the laryngeal reflex is the real driver of most of the disabling symptoms. During an episode, the vocal cords narrow as you try to breathe in, when they should be open. You may feel a tight throat, a choking sensation, a noisy in-breath or stridor, like <sighs> and that scary, can't get air in feeling. Attacks can be abrupt and often don't respond to inhalers, but it's still often misdiagnosed as asthma. Common triggers include talking, laughing, exercise, cold air, perfumes and cleaners, reflux flares, and yes, mucus irritation from post-nasal drip. An important note, asthma and vocal cord dysfunction commonly coexist, but asthma is mainly an exhale problem with wheeze coming from the chest. Vocal cord dysfunction is mainly an inhale problem felt in the throat. Another important note, always work with your own healthcare provider to rule out serious causes of any airway symptoms. The good news is, speech therapy style breathing and relaxation are highly effective. Practice the following techniques daily so you get confident and use them as a rescue during flares. Number one, sniff in, long out. Do two or three quick nasal sniffs to pop the cords open, then a long, gentle exhale through pursed lips for six to eight seconds to create back pressure in your airways. Repeat five to 10 times, like this. If your nose is blocked, inhale through your mouth. Number two, pursed lip or straw breathing. Inhale quietly through your nose and exhale through pursed lips or through a drinking straw to keep a gentle back pressure that helps hold the throat open. You breathe in gently and then get that helpful drinking straw that you always keep with you. Or again, use pursed lips. Number three. Yawn sigh reset. Make a silent yawn shape with your jaw loose and tongue up, then an easy sigh out. Repeat three to five times to drop laryngeal tension. Practice the technique you prefer daily to ensure you get confident doing it, then use it for at least two minutes during attacks to ease your symptoms. I personally find the sniff in long out technique the best. Do these for around five minutes, two or three times a day if you can. Diaphragmatic or belly breathing. With one hand on your chest and one on your belly, inhale quietly through your nose so you feel your belly rising. And then a slow, relaxed, pursed lip exhale. 
Aim for four to six breaths per minute. Keep hydrated to avoid dry mucous membranes in your airways. Avoid habitual throat clearing. Swap to silent swallows or small sips of water. If you do have some phlegm in your throat, gently pressing on the side of your windpipe and coughing can create a quick jet of air to clear the phlegm quickly rather than repeated coughing, like this. <coughs> Tackle co-drivers such as nasal inflammation with saline sinus rinses, probiotics and diet as seen in my chronic sinus problems videos, which I'll link in the description. Manage acid reflux, avoid strong scents and smoke, practice voice hygiene and use simple relaxation to settle the system. If allergies trigger your symptoms, a simple antihistamine can help, and these are commonly available in supermarkets or grocery shops. If symptoms persist, ask for speech and language therapy or respiratory physiotherapy input. If your symptoms are severe, new, or you're unsure whether it's asthma or something else, get a medical assessment. If attacks occur with chest pain, fainting, fever, or a genuine struggle to breathe, seek urgent care. As vocal cord dysfunction is a primitive survival reflex, it's impossible to totally stop it. That would be like trying to completely stop yourself from sneezing ever again. However, like sneezing, it's possible to reduce the severity and frequency by following the advice in this video and my chronic sinus problems videos. Now you know the real reason you get symptoms, it should be easier to mentally deal with it as well as practically manage it. If you didn't know what a sneeze was, I'm sure you'd be more disabled by their sudden and violent attacks and you'd probably find them pretty scary. If this reframed your ideas about post-nasal drip, try the sniffing long out drill today and the daily diaphragmatic breathing for two weeks. If you found this helpful, would you consider pressing the like button and subscribing to my channel? It really does help the channel and allow me to create more content to help you reach optimal health and well-being. And tell me in the comments which exercise works best for you. Personal stories are some of the best sources of information and it can help your fellow viewers. I wish you all the very best. Much love.